destroyed in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I reverse you, whoever that has sent you here, return back in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for healing. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Come, brother. Jesus' mighty name. Then, where is your car? It's back at home. Hmm? I left it off. God, I will help you. You must not lose it. Huh? Jesus, thank you. Come. Jesus, thank you Lord for raising this man. Thank you for blessing him. Thank you for the breakthrough that is coming. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you people. Hello, hello. I'd like to greet you and everyone that is watching. Uh, my name is Atembelani Kupiso. I'm coming from East London. And the one that is next to me uh, is Ngumi Sambombo. He's my partner. Well, all the way from East London. Uh, the reason that brought me here uh, to Charis, uh, uh, I've been struggling in my life. Uh, there were a lot of questions that I wanted to understand and answers that I wanted to know. Uh, first thing also, um, I was also retrenched at work. And, and another thing, um, I've been praying to God, uh, wanted to understand what is happening because lately i've been praying a lot so i wanted also to confirm that is there any calling in my life so and uh, um another thing um i've been having a lot of attacks that i believe that are spiritual and also a problem also with my family uh, that is also it was a big matter to me because there was an issue that there was no understanding between me in terms of believing so since they are the people that are believing in ancestors and I believe in Jesus, so there was a controversy between me and them. So I felt that I have to come and see the man of God. Okay, I'll first start with my health issue. I was diagnosed in 2007, which is I was still a baby or a child back then. It was a really a life-changing thing to me. Even if I do not say it or I do not speak about it, but it haunts me because I feel like it was, I wouldn't say too soon, but I wanted to get the healing to be healed. And I believe that is so. Sorry. I was diagnosed with a diabetic, so I use e insulin since two, 2007 till now. I was 15 years old. I was 15 years old. I wouldn't say it affected me because I just said, okay, in order for me to be alive, I just have to use this insulin. So, but uh, there are things that limits me to do things. Yeah, but because I have to, everywhere I go, I have to take this medication. So that was the main issue. And since this gentleman is besides me, I wanted to know, is this relationship godly side are we doing the right thing okay during um the group session also the man of god did prophesy me um the first thing first that you talk about um he asked me about the child that way is my child and uh, um i was a bit lost and surprised but uh i i do recall that because i be re i remember back in the days i think it was 2020 if i'm not like there was a lady that i was dating so um it was not a long a relationship um i think um he he came for holiday and then sorry she came for holiday and then she left and then after she left she phoned me that um i am i am pregnant with your child and then i was a bit um lost and i was surprised then how come that you are pregnant and then um i didn't accept it because i i believed in my in, in my mind that before sh before we met she was already pregnant because it was too early 
you know and so i wanted to confirm that because that was true because the lady did call me and and, and said that she was pregnant yes um and another thing that um she talked about that i am i am doing a business there is a partner that i'm i'm partnering with in terms of business which is true there is a guy that back in east london that we are, we are about to start a business so we were busy trying to organize and doing um um um, um this business so which is true Since I'm not married yet, hmm? but I was, I'm not married yet. I know you're not married. To be honest with you, uh, you must thank God uh, from where you come from. Amen. You know, there's a strong spirit on you. Amen. And this spirit, it makes you to fail in any relationship. Yes. So you told you a story Amen. as if she was said she was saying she was pregnant. Amen. Amen. Yes. Huh? yes. What happened? I was Did she lie to you? I'm not sure. I think so. She lied to me. She lied to you? Yes. 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 Because I'm hearing a phone call you. And this lady was telling you it's like I'm pregnant. Yes. That's true. Huh? That's true. Yes. Now the question is that what happened to that pregnant? Because we live with cruel people. Amen. So now you God will change your life. Amen. You must not worry. Amen. Number two, the issue of the job. Yes. Which is giving you problems. Yes. No? Amen. Mm. You want to quit? Actually, I'm, I'm, I was retrenched in March. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. I also the issue of the job. Yes. But for me, I see you jobless now. Yes. Yes. And you took them to court? Yes. Huh? Not yet. Yes. What is your plan? I'm sure I don't know you, isn't it? Yes, sir. I'll see you for the first time. Yes. Is it like? Is it like? And you are here to know. Yes. This lady, I'm sure yes. she's. Yes. She's surprised. How do you know him? It's my partner. Yes. Okay. So now you are starting to say, Hallelujah. <laughs> so people look at you and say, yeah. I don't know why, why him, Benj. <laughs> them to court, I don't see you winning the case. Yes. Because you know what is it. No? Yes. So I'm not here to blame you. I'm not here to show you mistakes. But after I pray for you, there's a guy you want to do business with. Yes. No? Yes. <laughs> Is love. <laughs> <laughs> Am I lying to you? No, sir. Huh? No. Mm. So I'll try to pray for you. That business will work. Amen. 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 Uh, during the one on one, um, the man of God prophesied that um, I used not to believe in prophets, which is true. Uh, back in the days, I used to have a problem with prophets. But uh, he continued saying that. Um, I am a, I, I, uh, lately God has been leading me to pray a lot and she confer and he confirms to Ma, to Numisa that this man is praying which is true because recently lately I've been praying a lot I've been praying a lot and another thing that he he talks about that um there is a problem because people don't people don't understand especially back at home my family so since we um planning to get married so the prophet said that 
no means I must try to understand me, understand me better because other, especially my family, does not understand me. So I confirm that, which is true, that there is a problem, especially my family. And um, another thing that the man of God that talks about um, as he was praying for me, he asked me that, where is um, my car? And I've told him that I've left it home. And he, he confirmed it and said that uh, I must not lose that car because as I'm speaking right now, I'm, I'm, I'm without job. I'm not working. I was at a chant. So I, I've been stressing that. That's why I decided also to come yeah, here. Even so yeah. I have trusted God that the issue of the car, God will going to deal with it. So um, that's, I think that's all. That's all. Well, he said to me the first thing that I heard is on one on one he said that I'm the first one to understand him and I believe that is true I've been patient and I've believed in him number two on one on one he said that uh, I'm studying all which which I was studying and then the, I'm supposed to, I was studying and I had to do two things at once. So I had dropped at school, then I had, and I had to focus on building my parents' house, just extension, just to extend. So I said, and then he said, no, I'm going to pray for you and you will pull through. And the third one is like I'm having, oh, he saw, um, a blue blood, which means that it's for diabetic, and the yellow one is for blood pressure. So he asked me, do I use any tablets, which is, I confirmed, which is, that's true. And then he prayed for me. That's all. Thank you. And another thing that I also um, forgot, uh, you also uh, say that um, God wants to use me, and if it was for her, for him, that uh, I, he could keep he could keep me close to him. So, which is uh, also he, he had answered my prayers because I've been having these questions that did God call me or what's happening. So, also he also I'm glad that he also confirmed that God wants to use me. So, which is true. Um, right now, I feel very, very, very happy and I feel relieved because. Most of the ans most of the questions that I was having uh, have been answered, and um, I I believe that God has already opened doors, and um, I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I feel so relieved because everything that He has said it is true. Oh, and on top of that, I remember one thing that He said. He is saying that you are not happy at work. I'm grateful for the work that I do, but I'm just not happy. So I'm very re uh, relieved because he said everything that I know. Uh, I would say that um, they must come and visit here at Charis and they also, they must not count the cost because it's, it's worth it. It's, it's, it's more than, it's more than I, I, can, I can explain, but they must come and experience God um, solving their problems and, and, and healing them, delivering them.